The pandemic has affected and impacted our habits over the last year, and that includes an increase in drinking. The Washington Department of Health says that alcohol sales and marijuana sales are way up over 2019 totals. And King County says there was a 24% spike in overdose related deaths in 2020. Now to put this in perspective, I talked with Lisa Rogers from Sound. What do you think we can expect as, as we as we come out of this pandemic and we're dealing with this kind of way of thinking that's happened? I am assuming these problems are not going away. They're not going away. It's getting worse. There's a thought that three million of our Washington citizens will be in a position of having acute mental health and substance use disorder, even though we're relaxing some of the masks and things are all starting to open up, but it's still going on and there's still a huge unemployment rate. The component of isolation that you mentioned, how has that affected substance abuse? Well, when people are isolated, there's stress involved with that, especially when it's imposed isolation and anxiety. People are making unhealthier choices because they're alone. Mm -hmm. No one's going to see or no one's going to know. And you can order anything you want from any of the delivery services. So people are drinking more. People are using more drugs Unfortunately, there's a lot of overdose because people are using substances alone. We can't pigeonhole people anymore as to, oh, that person is a drug addict or that person right. is an alcoholic or, or, or how society likes to put people in neat packages that way. It's not that way anymore. It's, it's our whole community is affected. Initially, when the pandemic happened, we saw all these memes and all this stuff on social media of people's recycling bins being of bottles of alcohol and I laughed we all laughed it's funny but is there like a dangerous component to the other side of that oh yeah it's you know it is funny until it's not right mm. the dangerous component to that is is it encourages it it makes it like a norm like everybody's doing this and so everybody's got 50 bottles of wine in their garbage can it makes it seem normal and this, which makes abusing substances seem normal, which sort of gives a green light to yeah. people who are having, might be having trouble already. There is a reason that, that, that substance abuse starts. I know for all of us, it was the isolation and the pandemic, but sometimes there's also that mental health element. Can you talk about how the, the complexities of that, both things, the uh, reality of what we went through versus the pre-existing conditions and how they coexist. When people have mental health issues, maybe they don't haven't been to a doctor, they don't have medication, and that can be like anything from as simple as anxiety to a psychosis. They just want to feel better. And so what is available is various substances, right? It could be alcohol, but it could be something like a methamphetamine. It could be marijuana or it could be all three. Once you combine the mental health symptoms with the effects of the substances, you have a whole new grouping of symptoms. What would you say to someone right now who may think, man, I've, I feel like this has gotten to really taken hold of my life. I don't necessarily think that I need to go inpatient facility, but I am looking for some help. Where should they go? There are behavioral health organizations all over the Puget Sound area, all over the state. You can make a phone call to any of these organizations. Of course, I'm going to say sound. Yeah. And we have admissions people on the phone who are happy to help people walk through what they need to do to maybe make an appointment or meet with a counselor. We do everything we can to remove the barriers and make sure that people can have uh, contact with a, with a person directly rather than a voicemail or something like that. So if you think you might be struggling with a substance abuse disorder, you can reach out to Sound for help. Just go to sound.health. We've also included the phone number on your screen right there as well.